Hello there. Tea time with tea. 500 billion. Billion with a B. And Mnuchin says it's pro pro proprietary information. Um, the Treasury doesn't have to release who that money was given to. And I'm not talking about the um, 1200 that was sent to citizens to help. I'm talking about the money that was sent to Fortune 500 corporations. And strangely, the banks saw to it that this money mostly went to those corporations. Not mom and pop on the corner. Not the the little startups, the people, the small people, you and me, the average citizens, but the Fortune 500 companies, the Lakers, Steak Shack, Ruth Chris. Somehow they were at the top of the list. We are, this country is like a child that keeps walking into a brick wall. We had banks crash our economy and then we turn around and let banks control this money to save our economy and what did they do put it right in the pockets of people who already have pockets full of money we have an oversight committee we are actually have a government branch that is supposed to oversee this type of money guess what Mnuchin and the Trump administration just told them, we don't have to tell you who got that money. They know who got it. They've got the book that says where it went. But we don't have to tell you. And see, the thing is, that is that department's job to report to Congress, both the House and the Senate. Here's where that money went. Here's how that money was used. It has not been for months since that money was approved. Brought about by the Democrats who set up the plan that Trump is now um, trumpeting in his re-election and got money into the hands of the citizens. No, boo-boo. They set up the plan. They came up with the plan and then it was sent over to the House, sorry, to McConnell, who sat on it for a week and basically did zero changes to it. And then said, oh, look what we did. No, you didn't. The plan came from the Democrats. It was sent over to you. You did nothing. Trump did nothing. But now you're going to try to take credit of credit for it? You want to take credit? Release those books. Release every company that dipped their hand into the till and you look the other way. What friends of the president got money? Oh, God, we can't release that list now. No. We can't let the American people know that we gave them not even the scraps, the scraps of the scraps. But we saw to all our friends getting that big money. Yeah, we bailed out Boeing. Boeing, who was already on its last leg for releasing engines that blow up. Engines that die and kill the public. Boeing was already being sued. Why are we bailing them out? If the company's not doing a good job from the word go, why did we send them money? Hmm? It makes no sense. You have Mnuchin to actually say, you don't need to know who we gave the money to. That's our money. That's American citizens' money.
Trump gave us nothing. He didn't go into his bank account and send out that $1,200. That was our money. The American people. That is supposed to be shepherded and protected by Mnuchin. By the president. By our government. When the plan was set up, how to help us and how to help the economy, there was actually a team set up to act as oversight. So, when the money was signed to be released, that was in there. But what happened? What happened to the control and the protection for the, that money? Mm, let's see. Trump fired the man who was supposed to oversee it. Not Mnuchin. He would have actually been in front of Mnuchin every time Mnuchin cleared something before any bank released any money. It had to go by him. He had to double check it. Make sure that it was actually being used in the best interest of the country. Trump fired him. He didn't replace him. So that means Mnuchin got to sign off on anything he wanted. The banks got to do anything they wanted. And now, when Congress calls Mnuchin up there and says, okay, we need to see where all this money went. Where that $500 billion went. And he says, you don't need to know that. Yeah, we do. We do. Because once you're out of office, you darn well better believe somebody's going to pull those books out. And now everyone's going, "Mm, I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail for not really doing my job. Yeah. We need to know exactly to the penny where all that money went. We know where um, a small bit of it went. It went to the American people. We used it to pay our bills and buy food. Where'd the rest of the money go? Okay. Did they really keep people on their payroll? Did they look at the loophole? Mm. Someone I know was, um, the hours were cut down to 30 hours a week. See, the trick is, If your hours aren't cut by 50% or more, you don't qualify for unemployment. So all that money that was put aside to pay for unemployment isn't going out the door. Because you can't qualify. Companies got lump sums of cash. This enables you to keep your people on your payroll. Okay. What does on your payroll mean? Does that mean you work? 15 hours a week, 20 hours a week, still on the payroll. So, that little loophole, they got the lump sum of cash, but they're really not paying it for the employees. So, how does that work exactly? You still got the cash. You get you you you're robbing the cookie jar, and by way of loopholes, you're getting away with it. Look into this. This really smells. It is as blatantly corrupt as Barr trying to get Flynn off. And by the way, I really love the fact that the arbitrator judge that came in, said since Flynn went back and said, well, I didn't really admit anything, that means he committed perjury again by saying that. He's up on three charges. of. He literally told Barr's representative, do you want me to file charges for this incidence of perjury on top of the others? Or you can just go back 
and sentenced the man on the three that he admitted to. It's about to get real interesting. Mnuchin? <laughs> that little snake stood there. Yeah, he worked with Nancy Pelosi. But then behind the scenes, he's been playing with that money. Five hundred billion dollars. Where is it? Where did it go? Trust the tea, not the Kool-Aid. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.